All right, welcome to the channel. I'm Cohen Springer. I'm using this as a forum to help students of all walks of life to help them to become successful, right? Um, direct content. We're focusing on matrices today. It's a four part series. Hopefully, I can get this done before the fish van passes. All right, so let's go right into it. Matrices, the basics. 101, that's just an example of a matrix there. Moving along, first thing you need to know on matrices, definition of a matrix. And the definition of a matrix, according to CXC CSEC, is a rectangular arrangement of rows and columns. Keyword, rows and columns. Those two keywords going to follow you right through matrices. So pay attention to them. Rows, columns. Now, rows go horizontally, columns go vertically like this, and rows go horizontally like that. Rows like the rows in a church, columns like the columns um, in a church too. Yeah, we just stick with the church. Right, so columns, rows. Beautiful. So some example of matrices. 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 4, 1, 3, 6. And you can see some things playing off there. What you're taking away from this is that each number, each element occupies a specific cell. So if I draw some lines like in the third matrix, you'll see that the two, one, four, one, three, six each have a distinguished, a distinct cell that they occupy. So it's not 214 or 136. It's not one large number. It's each one in a separate, separate spot, right? So let's move along. So first, 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 first thing a teacher may talk to you in matrices about is this guy. Size, order, dimension. Um, whatever part of the world you're learning this in, you may have a different name. Um, provided you're doing it in English. Size, order, dimension. Um, but they all mean the same thing. They, they mean the amount of rows in a matrix by the amount of columns. Row by columns. That multiply sign there, you can replace that with the word by. So 2, 1, 2, 1, I'm, I'm using back some of these matrices. Some of these matrices here. Matrices is plural. Matrix is singular. Um, uh, let's see if we can get the sizes of these. The first one, it's a two by one matrix because you see there's one row there that I highlighted. There's another row here and there's that column that goes there, right? So that's two by one. Notice we say the rows first. The rows first, then the columns. So um, where does play button? Play, right. So listing all the others, that's two by one. The second one just has one one row and um, two columns. So that's one by two because we're calling the rows first. And likewise, we can figure out the rest, right? Two rows here, three columns here, bam, bam, bam. Two rows here, two columns here. Nice. So some points to note in these matrix, in these matrices here, mm -hmm. sorry. Um, the first one, there's one column, so we'll call it a column matrix. In the second one, there's one row, so we'll call that a row matrix. And in the last one, where the number of rows equal the number of columns, you can call it a square matrix. That one in the, that we left out here, him, well, you could call it a rectangular matrix, but that's not coming. Right, so um, those terms, pay attention to that, they may shoot that out at you on, uh, in a multiple choice, right? So addition and subtraction. Look where we reach already. Addition and subtraction. Um, this is best seen by an example. Now when you're adding matrices, um, you want to add the corresponding elements. So that 3 is going to add to the 6 and going to give us something there. And it's going to give us a matrix that looks like it. All right, so 3 and 6, 6 plus 3. You can put it any order you want, right? 6 plus 3. Uh, next number, 4 plus um, negative 1. As this 4 plus negative 1 here. And that's going to go on the, the, the bottom spot there. Right? So, uh, we have the 1 and the 0. Right? And then we have 2 and 3. Now, after you have it there, I just put the blue lines to separate the individual um, spots they go into, right, cells. So 6 plus 3, 9, 1 plus 0, 1. Um, 4 plus negative 1 is actually 
three because directed numbers now. So if you have problem with negative numbers, use your calculator because they're gonna pelt out a lot of that at you on in matrices. And two plus three five and something to note you can only add and subtract matrices of the same size. So um do you, if I, for example if I have this one here that you can't add that because these don't have anybody to relate to. Right? So that's invalid. Two by two, two by one, that's invalid. So we can only add and subtract matrices of the same side. Alright, so next, look where we reach. Exam style questions already. So this is a question like what you can get in your exam. A is four is equal to four two x three, B is equal to three, four, four zero, A minus B is equal to one, two, negative two, three. Find the value of x, right? Classic maths, classic maths question here, boy. Find the value of x, always finding x, and that's the x there. You see them? x, right? So, and they're saying a, a take away b is equal to this matrix here. Beautiful, and we know what a is, and we know what b is because b is this matrix, and a is this matrix. Beautiful, beautiful. So, now we can. Just use the corresponding terms with x. So x is in the second row, first column, four here, second row, first column, the answer, that is two, second row, first column, and we just solve it algebraically here, x minus four, since a minus b is equal to this matrix, therefore x minus four is equal to two, right? And from that we can easily see x is six, or we can just use um, our beautiful algebraic skills to solve that there. Scalar multiplication, this is the final part of the basics here, so we're near the end, people. Scalar multiplication is when we multiply a matrix by a number or a constant outside of the uh, matrix, and this number, it just applies to everything. So this two is going to multiply. We have A here, and, and, and as you can see, we can actually name matrix after a capital letter so this matrix is a is equal to negative five three one two or negative five one three two and it's been multiplied by two that two next to the a means two times a right so we simply multiply each number by two two by negative five two by one two by three two by two and you get your answer Mm, nice little green tick there. Ding. Um, next one. This is one more common. Um, you'll have to multiply, learn how to multiply a matrix by a fraction. Same procedure, you multiply each of the number by the fraction. But if you have a fraction like 1 over 3, a nice little thing you can do is just put every number over, over the 3 and then simplify it. So that's 6 over 3, 2 over 3, 1 over 3, 3 over 3, everything over 3. Right, and some of those can simplify like him, he can go down to two. This could be one, and the others that can't simplify, you just leave it over like that, and that's it. And that's the end of basic matrices. Um, you can follow up on the other videos, you will follow up on those other videos, and um, pay attention to them. What we'll do is multiplication next, a little to multiply matrices by each other, and then we'll go into something called inverse. And um, finally, simultaneous equations. So click on it quickly if you want to go to that. Be sure to press some like, some subscribe, and share the video with your friends who are in dire need of help and help them become bosses and understand everything in matrices as well. Till next time.